now we introduce what is called as a normal curve now this is very important to understand in the normal curve there is an empirical rule that allows us to divide the normal distribution into predictable ranges based on standard deviation it allows us to divide the normal distribution into some predictable ranges okay let's see that how many of you see the x axis i have written zero at the center i have drawn an x axis i have put zero at the center 1 2 3 4 on the right side of the screen and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 on the left side and what it means is you can even put 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma and 4 sigma okay you can even put minus 1 sigma minus 2 sigma minus 3 sigma and minus 4 sigma which means suppose if the standard deviation is 10 0 to 1 is one standard deviation 0 to 2 is two standard deviation 0 to 3 is three standard deviation similarly 0 to minus 1 is one standard deviation 0 to minus 2 is two standard deviation and 0 to minus 3 is three standard deviation now i have drawn this curve beautifully we are having a perfect normal distribution in our manufacturing process now let us go into the depth of this there is a statistical rule that says from the data you can calculate the standard deviation there is a formula for the standard deviation if you have 1000 data points let's say we manufacture soaps and we have 100 soaps which we have manufactured and the weight of the soap is 50 grams plus or minus 1 gram which is 49 to 51 that is a customer specification but process wise when i take the data i can calculate the standard deviation of that 100 soaps weight of that 100 soaps are you clear about this i can always calculate standard deviation what there is a rule there is a formula for standard deviation go and search anywhere uh, square root of x minus x bar the whole square okay likewise x1 minus x bar x2 minus x bar all square up square up square up plus 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 divided by n or n minus 1 under the square root there is a formula for that we will repeat the formula sometime later i don't want to scare you with the formula as of now but the point is once you calculate the standard deviation you can be sure that 68.26% will lie between one standard deviation 95.46 percentage of your soaps will lie between plus or minus 2 sigma that is totally four standard deviations and 99.73 soaps will lie between plus or minus 3 percent that is six standard deviation if this is the fundamental to understanding of the normal distribution curve so 68.26 percentage of the data will fall in plus or minus one standard deviation 95.46 will fall this is the rule of normal distribution that statistician have established once you have calculated standard deviation you can close your eyes and say that so many pieces will lie between plus or minus three standard deviations that is 99.73% will lie between and so on and so forth if you want it to lie between plus or minus six sigma it should be 99 point followed by 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 and an 8 okay now this understanding you see two three times for you to be absolutely clear about the nature of a normal distribution the rule of a normal distribution now i'll quickly explain to you the statistical meaning of six sigma there is a mean or target there is an upper specification limit there is a lower specification limit what i have explained to you suppose if it is plus or minus three standard deviations okay suppose one set of soaps i have taken and two set of soaps one machine and the other machine okay new machine and a very old machine excellent technology latest machine and very very old 1963 machine okay they have manufactured soaps and i see that if it is plus or minus 3 sigma we have already seen from the earlier slide how much percentage plus or minus 3 sigma 99.73 percentage will be plus or minus now if it is latest machine an entire six sigma is inside this so the probability of failure is much lower i am not recommending 
that you always go for a new machine to increase your capability no that is not my intent but that's to communicate the latest technology is supposed to give you minimum deviation minimum variance compared to the old machine which will give lot of variance and if it is lot of variance it is represented that way but in six sigma we are not going to use technology or new machines to reduce variations we are going to identify causes eliminate those causes and reduce these variations